Road construction is closing lanes at the Big Rock Interchange in Little Rock. But the reps over at Uber say they're a tech company, not a cab service. Where have you been searching and what have you been seeing? Breaking news, the National Transportation Safety Board just wrapped up a press conference. And you can see behind me a very dedicated bunch of young ladies who are searching throughout the evening. I'm surrounded by about 30 students from the campus. Well, I can tell you right now, this is still a very active scene, even at this late hour. The Hogs may not have been able to pull off that win, but local business owners sure did. It was yesterday afternoon when this massive oak tree went crashing through their roof. Look at it over there. It's a little less congestion, and follow me down this way a little less of this apparently it can get into your mouth when you're sleeping and that's why it's known as the kissing bug i know awful as if bugs Gosh. aren't scary enough right these documents cover the entire length of a basketball court the search is on for a new home for state prisoners just to show you how well you can see these in the dark what these are doing is targeting trucks because they're easy to get under then they poke a hole in your gas tank but you know what it was gorgeous outside we had this cold weather this freezing rain and all that and now today it was really beautiful yeah. that his wife angie was hunkered down inside this closet firefighters and counselors help young burn victims forget about their injuries and just have fun yeah we certainly are and i'm going to get to a detailed traffic report in just a bit first i want to show you all this snow here in arkadelphia if you take a look behind me it's gorgeous it's like a snow globe out here but we do have this ruler right here to give you an idea of measurement of snow and we're looking at you know just over four inches now as far as traffic goes take a look back here at i-30 you're going to see things moving very smoothly as as you mentioned, Donna, that slush is building up, though, and that can make things slick. Right now, the temperature above freezing here in Arkadelphia at around 34 degrees. Transportation officials telling us the problem we're going to see as that temperature lowers. Let me show you this. You know these ice packs that you put in the freezer and they get really hard? That slush is going to turn into little ice packs all over the road, making a huge problem for drivers. So the goal right now is to get plows out here and get all of that slush out of the way to make a better morning commute. We're reporting live in Arkadelphia tonight. Melissa Schroeder, Fox 16 News. Hundreds of fans showing their support and cheering on the Razorbacks win or lose in the capital city today. Good evening and thanks for choosing KRK. I'm Melissa Schroeder in for Brittany. The Hogs may not have been able to pull off that win, but local business owners sure did. KRK's Ken Booth explains how this game helped bring in the money. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Ken. Well, volunteers holding another search for a missing Stuttgart teenager. 15-year-old Cassie Compton disappeared more than a month ago, and police still have no leads on her case. KRK 4's Leah Uko joins us with more on why this community put aside its differences for one cause. Leah. A lot of emotion out there. Former President Bill Clinton continues his Arkansas campaign tour called Your Vote Matters. This video we're going to show you is from his stop in Hot Springs last night. This morning, Clinton, along with other Democrats running for office, visited Hope. The campaign, free and open to the public, wraps up tomorrow with stops in North Little Rock, Pine Bluff, and Forest City. For times and locations, just go to our website, ArkansasMatters.com. Many restaurants rolling out lower calorie menus with your health in mind. Why you can expect the trend to stick around for a while. New research reveals many large chain restaurants are introducing new lower calorie items. The Johns Hopkins study found these new food and drink options contain 60 fewer calories than their traditional menu items. Not bad. It's a trend that's expected to continue because of new government rules requiring restaurants to post calorie counts on their menus. Sticking with the health theme, hundreds of kids spending their afternoon in the capital city getting fit. The event at the Metroplex called Move Your Body was put on by the Little Rock chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. The group is working to promote health and wellness to students from riding bikes to shooting hoops. Kids found a number of ways to keep active today. We want them to get their BMI down. In addition to some giveaways, students got to watch healthy cooking demos at the event. Welcome back. Just a gorgeous day outside for the football game, for mm -hmm. any activities, taking a walk, taking a hike. Just great out there. But what's the forecast look for the rest of the yeah. weekend? Don't mind a little rain after this beautiful weather. Right. Have a great night. We'll see you again tomorrow at 5. You guys, there's a picture circulating on social media. I wanted to get you all side of the story. We'll get to his answer in a bit. First, an explanation of what got us here. A foster parent posted this photo on Facebook. It appears to show a child behind a cage with the caption, I don't think he will get out anymore at night and destroy the house and find the older kids hidden candy and eat it up. Thanks to my wonderful hubby. Anything you can tell us because there are people who are upset about it. 
Oh, well, the reason they're upset is the boy's three years old, and he will not stay in bed. He will get up and get into anything. Foster father David Oakley says he built a gate to protect the child. He took us to the garage where it's now being stored. Just like you'd have for a back porch or something. That's all it is. Hinged and had slot, had uh, slide bolt locks on it. Oakley told us nothing else worked, so he put the gate around the child's toddler bed. He explained the boy wasn't caged in because there was a four-inch gap on top. Yeah, it did help. We showed the photo to the Arkansas Department of Human Services. A spokeswoman says she could not confirm an investigation is going on, but told us this. We'll go through the process that we always go through, which is reporting it to the child abuse hotline and uh, for potential investigation. One thing DHS did confirm, no foster parent is allowed to publicly post photos of children in their care. Can you see why people would be upset when this is being posted on social media? And it, 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 yeah. I see why, but I mean, I would rather him be safe because I can't stay up twenty. I can't stay up twenty four hours a day, seven days a week with him. At the time of our visit, the child was still in the custody of the foster parents. However, Mr. Oakley did tell us a Department of Human Services worker was inside talking to his wife at the time. Since DHS cannot comment on a case involving a child, we do not know if there's a formal investigation or if this boy will be placed in another home. The victims in the case we're sharing with you tonight didn't even know they were being videotaped. A hidden camera caught nude images of them, and now the two girls are suffering from side effects they fear could follow them forever. More than 200 counts of computer child pornography. Accused of 1,000 counts of child pornography. Or 38 counts of child pornography. Child pornography. The news stories on the topic are endless. To teach little girls how to have sex. You're told about the predators and the horrific things they do to children. But very rarely do you hear from the victims. I felt really violated. How they suffered, carrying the burden of their bodies on camera for anyone to see. I just broke down in tears. Now a Conway family comes forward. We're protecting their identity as they share the side of child pornography you rarely hear about. I've seriously lost all trust for the human race of guys. About a year ago, John Roy's wife found something on her husband's cell phone that would change the family forever. They trusted him. I mean, they saw him as a father figure. She saw dozens of naked images of her two daughters, Roy's stepdaughters, who in some photos were only 13 and 17 years old. For some reason, I went into my closet and cried um, and called my, called my sister. The girl's mother says Roy set up a pen camera and deer camera in a bedroom room and bathroom videotaping the girls getting undressed going to the bathroom even getting into the shower she says the abuse went on for at least two years but when the photos were found we saw probably over 400 images and the unknown became known it was then things for the family got even worse. I mean, I blame myself for the longest time because I married him and brought him into my kid's life, so. A judge sentenced Roy to five years in prison for child pornography and voyeurism. The family expected a stiffer sentence, but that wasn't their only issue. Far from it. Probably every emotion except happiness. Feelings of sadness, fear, and anxiety took over. Resentful towards my mom, and then now I'm having a hard time dealing with it because I still feel guilty for resenting her. But above all, trust and the lack of it became a tough issue to tackle. I w was crying my eyes out. I kept saying, why is this happening to me? I'm only 13 years old. This shouldn't be happening to me. How long can they be impacted by this? Forever. Mm -hmm. Forever. Jennifer Long with the Children's Protection Center helps kids like the two sisters suffering from the effects of child pornography. At the center, a counselor interviews the victim in a private room to find out what happened. And she works with that child inside this room. A child comes in here and we have cameras um, in two different locations. And then this is the board that the child will draw on. The interview and images can help get a conviction in court, but it takes much more than that for the children to get their lives back. Child pornography can follow that child, the evidence of it can follow that child. And that's a problem this family still faces. There's been no proof Roy distributed the pornographic images, but there's also no comfort in the uncertainty 
For them, it leads to more suffering. It's scary knowing that there, somebody has those images or could have those images. Because what they do know is this crime, the videos and images from it, could come back to haunt them one day. It's a traumatic experience. Making the girls victims of child pornography. And it just didn't seem real. Over and over again. If you know someone dealing with the effects of child abuse, physical or sexual, you can call the Arkansas Child Abuse Hotline. We'll put that number on our website for you at fox16.com. And well, the rumblings around Jacksonville were that an old neighborhood would be bulldozed to create either an apartment complex or senior center. Turned out not to be true, but it was just enough to get one lady fired up to make a difference. Things are starting to look up for the Sunnyside Division in Jacksonville. Which is great. Today you can see kids at the neighborhood playground. Just a few years ago, though, things looked much different. Sunnyside is, is, most people know it as the hood, the project, uh, the ghetto. That one's a new one for me today. Debbie Fulton recalls a time when criminals took over this park, making drug deals from picnic tables. Fearful parents just stayed away. This place was literally a mess. But since police gained more of a presence here and Fulton created Jacksonville Pride about a year ago, things have changed. I mean, you don't see the drug dealers standing on every other corner now. And since we started Pride, it really has gotten so much better. As the title alludes to, Jacksonville Pride... I want to put up uh, face painting tables this year. ...is about bringing pride back into this neighborhood. People sweep sidewalks and clean yards to homes dating back to World War II. We are going to give the, um, the more sophisticated, the more prominent areas like Greystone and stuff like that are run for their money. There are also weekly events and neighbors look out for one another, helping to reduce crime. Because I've already put a heads up on it. Yeah. So it began as a rumor of perhaps losing a neighborhood. We started the group to fight for our homes is why we started the group. Turned into a movement. That's what I'm talking about. Helping to make Sunnyside <laughs> shine That's once again. Be fantastic. And I'm and the next step for the Sunnyside folks is to create a neighborhood watch program. I'm sure they will have no problem doing that.